Hey guys, Way31's Breck and Terry here. Okay, so I've got a great story alert right now and I'm really excited uh, to share this with y'all. I'm actually out here on Reservation Road in Muscle Shoals and this is Joe Copeland. He is a veteran and this is his lovely mother. She is 72 year, years old, guys, walking with her son. They're raising awareness about PTSD and this is his service dog, Molly. Joe, just tell me, how long did you serve in the military and why are you doing this? I was in the military from until 2006 and I'm walking across America to to raise awareness for veteran suicide and combat PTSD because I feel that my duty to my brothers and sisters in arms uh, is still there I, I think that there's way too many suicides a day there's 22 veterans um, there's only five five percent of American population is made up of veterans but 20% of America's suicides are veterans. So the, you're three or four times more likely to commit suicide if you were in the military. And I just think that uh, that's, that's atrocious and uh, something needs to be done. And Joe, how far have y'all walked? Uh, Molly and I are in our 900th mile, um, around there anyway. Um, we started in Virginia Beach and we walked um, down to the bottom of the Dismal Swamp in North Carolina. Uh, walked west across the Rocky Mountains through uh, Chattanooga up to uh, Nashville where my mother joined us and um, <laughs> now here we are in Alabama. And Joe, I got to tell you guys, they're only one third of, well hang on, let me turn this around for y'all real quick. They're only one third of the way through their journey. As a matter of fact, I'm going to grab my um, camera real quick and shoot some more video of uh, Joe and his mom here, and they're only one third of the way through their journey. They've got about 2,000 more miles to go. They're going all the way to what part of California? Long Beach, California. Uh, my grandmother lives in Long Beach, California, and uh, I didn't want to make her come to me, so I'm gonna go to her. Uh, it's been kind of a running, <clears throat> excuse me, it's been kind of a running joke since we uh, got started that because I had to uh, go over the Smokies and through the Dismal Swamp. It's through the woods and over the mountains to Grandmother's house I go. <laughs> and just tell me, you said you joined after 9-11. Mm -hmm. Did 9-11 inspire you to serve your country? Absolutely. It's, it's the primary reason I joined. I, I needed uh, a sense of payback. I felt personally offended. Um, and uh, I, I needed to do something to help out. Awesome. And just tell me, what is your message out there um, to any veterans who might be struggling with uh, PTSD? Uh, my main message is just um, don't give up. Just if you, if you need help, find it, get it. I know that the VAs for some people is a, a, quite a trip to, you know, some people like to drive over 100 miles to get to a VA hospital. But uh, just don't get up, give up. Call Battle Buddies, uh, get, a, get a dog, um, do whatever you can to survive. It keeps your mind. And just tell me, how far, or let me rephrase this, where are y'all going next? You're staying in Muscle Shoals tonight, correct, or Sheffield? Right, right. We're, in a, we're staying at the, the Radisson Hotel tonight, and then um, we're going to head west. Our, our next major goal or destination is uh, my sister's house in Pontotoc, Mississippi. Sorry about the track. No, you're fine. Uh, my sister's house in Pontotoc, Mississippi. We're going to stay about a week there. Uh, my wife and kids are going to come down from Indiana where they're at now spending vacation. And they're going to visit us and then they're going to head home to Austin, Texas. And you're used to this uh, heat because you're from Austin. Well, yeah. yeah it's, it's, uh, it's quite a bit more humid here. But, <laughs> uh, the heat isn't, isn't too bad yet. And how have people in the Shoals, how have they treated y'all since you got out here? Oh, great. Um, I think we got a $40 donation this morning. Um, people are all honking at us going by, you know, good honks, not bad honks. Good waves. Lots of waves, lots of thumbs up, lots of deuces. <laughs> and, um, just again, so y'all are going to start going, where can people see y'all tomorrow walking from? We're going to head down, there's a, a park, and Peace Park, is it? it has the Native American Memorial in it for the Trail of Tears. A Tom Hendricks wall. Yeah. Is that it? Yeah. So we're going to go by there. It's a gonna, staple in this community. And we're going to go by the, uh, is it Tecumbia? Tuscumbia. Tuscumbia. Yep. We're going to go through Tuscumbia, the Tuscumbia RV Park. 
is going to find a spot for us. They said they're sold out, but they're going to put us up somewhere anyway. That's awesome. And um, guys, if y'all want to say anything uh, to Joe or his mom right now, y'all can go on and ask me some questions. Sorry, I'm turning off my camera right here. Remember, guys, I'm a multimedia journalist, so I do it all on my own. But I've got uh, Tanya Michelle. She said, this is good, positive news. Thank you for your service and be safe on your journey. You want to say anything to her? Oh, thank you very much. Uh, uh, any, anything that I can do to help out veterans, I do. Uh, there was a uh, at one point, we actually I had to put the walk on pause when I got to um, Concord, North Carolina, and I flew down to St. Petersburg, Florida, and helped a veteran fix up their home so that they could get it inspected and get um, moved into it, and then flew back to Concord and continued my walk. That was about a 10-day hiatus. And where can people go to donate to your cause or to follow y'all's journey? Um, you can find me on Facebook at walk to n 22 um, That's also good for Twitter and Instagram. Uh, just Google at walk to n 22 Also, um, supportjoe.com. You can go there to donate. And if you want to follow us in real time, we have a spot GPS that sends out a signal uh, within, I think it's within five feet. Um, <laughs> you, can, uh, you can follow us in real time at 22joe.com. Awesome. Thank you so much for your service thank and thank you. you all for doing this. I appreciate you guys so much. Guys, I'm about to end this Facebook Live, but I'm just going to leave you all with this. I'm going to challenge everyone in the Shoals right now. If you see Joe and his mom, guys, stop, honk, talk to them. Let's just show them how welcome they are here in the Shoals. I know you guys can do it because the Shoals is, you know, one of the best places ever. Um, guys, I really appreciate all of y'all for tuning in. So if you see these lovely people walking down the road over in uh, Sheffield and Muscle Shoals, guys, stop and tell them, hey, I appreciate y'all for watching. Bye-bye.